fishermen in the know understand that the two most important factors to consider when fishing is depth and speed. Presenting a lure at the correct depth and speed to trigger a strike. And that there are times when achieving maximum depth with a specific presentation is key to greater success. With that said, there are variables to consider for achieving maximum depth, none more significant than line type and line diameter. Hi guys, Kim Stricker here again. Accompanied by my son Danny, we're gonna dive into the subject and compare running depths between Seaguar Abrasex fluorocarbon and Seaguar Smackdown braided line because I'm a proponent for the adage that seeing is believing. We begin by dropping a vertical buoy line anchored in 14 feet of water. Six feet down the line, we attached a red buoy and another at a depth of three feet. Floating on the surface, we attached a green buoy as a target. So Danny suits up in preparation to enter the water. Equipped with wireless underwater communications where he'll be able to converse with me topside. I've got both the buoys in frame right now. Well, let me make a shot and see how it comes through. All right, go right ahead. The lure of choice is a deep running jerk bait and we'll be casting it on 10 pound test Seaguar Abrasex fluorocarbon line. Using seven foot three inch medium action spinning equipment, I first make an average cast, positioning the green buoy and the camera at the midway point where my lure will reach its maximum depth. So I'm gonna reel it down, get it down to a deeper depth, and then start my jerking. I copy that, let's see. I am exactly level at the six foot mark. Tell me when to stop it right in front of you, and I'll pause it and let it suspend. I copy that, I'll let you know. Again, I'll make the cast, then at a moderate speed, I crank it down to reach the greatest depth. Then start jerking. Okay, there it is. Perfect, you jerked a little bit. Yep, clear as a bell. I would say most often, the average of your cast, you are at the six foot rate. Okay, with 10 pound test Abrasix fluorocarbon line on an average cast, I'm getting down six feet. Now let's switch over to 20 pound Smackdown braided line, which is the same diameter of 10 pound Abrasix. Okay, let's see what the depth of the Smackdown braid is. Here we come again. I'm pointing directly at the buoys. Yep, yep, okay, I see the line. Four foot, four foot level. But all in all, there's about a two foot difference on average. Definitely see an average two foot difference between the different line setups. Two feet may not seem that much of a difference to you, 
But when you're trying to get the bait down as deep as you possibly can, that's huge. And it can make a difference in what you put in your live well. So in summary, what did we learn? Number one, line type and line diameter affect depth. We visually revealed that with comparable casts, on average, there's about a two foot difference in running depth between the fluorocarbon and the braid with the same diameter. Number two, the longer the cast, the greater the depth achieved. Braid will cast further than fluorocarbon. However, if I use braid with a jerk bait, I will always attach a long leader of fluorocarbon to help get the bait down deeper. This will also help reduce tangles. And thirdly, you first want to reel the bait down at a moderate pace, not fast. It will reach a greater depth retrieved at a moderate pace. I hope the underwater point of view we're providing is helping you better comprehend the different properties between fishing lines. Seagar, always the best.